Uh, welcome friends in our SSIS tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to focus on how to get, get the total number of rows in a particular file with the help of script task. In our previous video, we have seen that uh, how to read the file header with the help of script task. So in this video, we are going to focus more on script task and we'll check how how can we get the total row in a file with the help of skip task you know there are many other ways to get the total row of a file in SSIS but right now we are focusing on skip task so we are working around only skip task in this video so you can see uh, you can see that uh, we have already a file uh, containing order number order date customer number sales person id user id these are the column and these are the data and if we are talking about the file this file containing is 11 rows so we have to count uh, these rows uh, total count of these rows in ssis with the help of skip task so here i am going to close this file okay and uh, we are back to our skip task now in this package you can see we have already created a variable that is file path which is containing the actual location of that file now and uh, we have a skip task and if i am going to right click on skip task uh, in edit in skip task editor you can see i am passing file path variable as a read only variable and uh, i am going to edit script uh, for this I am click on edit script button then you can see that a separate uh, project window for script scripting has been open now you can see we have added a namespace system.io to work around with the files so here we are going to back our main method and uh, here you can see we have already create a variable file path to get the value from the variable then we are showing this local variable that means file path then we have created an array string type array and with the help of file we are reading all the data from that particular file then uh, actually we are showing that uh, we are using array index so first row first index of the array would be the header of the file so in a in array it would always start uh, with zero so we are mentioning zero over here now we have to read all the lines uh, total count of the lines in a file so what we are going to do here we are showing message box dot so then total 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 records so what we are going to do here uh, we are using ar string array str array dot length length of the index then it is an end then we have to convert it into two string yeah so in this case if we are uh, calculating the total count of a file total rows in a file then it will also include the header of the file so we are going to save this build this uh, solution and close this solution now you can see we are back to our skip task editor here what we are going to do i am going to click on ok button now i have closed the skip task editor now our package is ready to run so i am going to run it now you can see this is the actual file path and these are the header columns from the file and there are total 11 records in a file so it is very easy to get the total records in a file with the help of skip task so please subscribe my channel on youtube and click the bell icon also to get the more videos on ssrs ssis sql server ssa data warehouse data modeling 